Mike Sullivan. And I'm Lauren Rosella. And today we're going to talk about three more green side shots that you can hit with your cutter wedge. Do you remember what they are, Lauren? I don't. <laughs> okay. So we're going we're gonna to do shots with from downhill lies. Uphill lies. Uphill lies. And the biggie, the grand finale, the flop, flop shot. shot. The flop shot. Okay, so now we got the downhill shot. This shot is downhill, right? So you're gonna have to hit down on the ball a little bit. And luckily, this one's gonna run a little bit, okay? So the idea here is we've just gotta be able to get this ball rolling and, and figure out what the right speed's gonna be. So, tell, so this is a shot where I would normally probably just hit like maybe my three wooden put it out. What would be the advantage of like using a club like this for this kind of shot so i don't i don't dislike the, the three wood idea it's just that when you've got this is this there's a lot of rough here you'd have to you really want to carry the ball over okay. so it's not going to be very predictable right what's nice about this club is you're going to be able to hit the shot over the rough land it on the green and then it's going to be more predictable overall you don't okay. have to mess with the rough as much all right so here's how i want you to do it okay i want you to set up with the ball more back in your stance and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt my spine a little bit so that I'm trying to get my spine basically perpendicular to the to the ground. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So like if I was I had a little army guy standing on my on my hand like that and he was sloped, everything would just do that, okay. right? And that way, watch out. And that way, when you swing through, you're going to be able to continue descending with it. And and the the, the low center of gravity, of the club is going to pop it right up, and your little the pointy sole. I'm going to okay. hit, I'm going to hit one for you, All right? I like to actually use a putting grip on this shot, but you don't have to. Ball back in my stance, tilting forward. Okay, so we've got this uphill shot here, right? So you've got your, your left foot up higher than your right foot, right? Okay, so what's really great here about this club is this is, this is a shot that, boy, this cutter wedge is going to get the ball up in the air really nice because of that super low center of gravity. Uh, also, it's interesting that the flag is cut really kind of close, okay? Mm -hmm. So the one, thing, the one tip that I'm going to give you is we want to make sure that we at least feel like we're going to land the ball to the hole. Uh, this is going to get the ball up in the air a little bit faster. And since it's an uphill shot, the ball is going to go higher. It's also not going to carry as far as on a flat lie because your, your, your ball is going to hit the green before it's done with its trajectory on the way down. So we have to make sure that we feel like we're really going to be assertive with how we hit this shot. Okay. Okay. All right. So the tips here on this one. Ready, Lauren? One, the ball's above your feet, so you're going to play the ball a teeny bit more forward in your stance than normal. Okay. You're going to give yourself a little bit of extra tilt this way, and then you're going to make sure that you're assertive and aggressive with the shot. It's okay to feel like you're gonna hit it a little bit by the hole. Okay? okay, let's do it. So it's hard to get on your front side when you're in the uphill line. It is hard to do that. So maybe make a practice when you feel like you're really gonna be assertive with that, okay? Good, there you go. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> Great shot. <laughs> Do I even need to hit one? No. Do I even need to hit one? Let me see if I can get as close as you. That's it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Did it kick right? Not enough, but that was a good shot. The flop shots. The grand finale. I always think of Phil. That's right, yeah. Yeah. All right. I, w I would never attempt this shot normally, but I have been a little bit more brave with this new edge. All right, let me give you a couple pointers and I'm gonna let you go at it. Okay. Okay? All right, so I've got your club here, all right? So here's the thing with the flop. We're trying to add a ton of loft on that club, okay? When you've got a fluffy little lie like this, this is the easiest thing in the world, and the thing that makes it even, even easier is this. See, see the way that you have this really big toe over here on the side? This is where it really comes to play. When you open that club face up, look, when you open up that club face, 
you have all of this surface area, including the wedges, the other uh, wedges, the lines up at the top to help you be able to, to hit this shot. So you're not losing real estate on the club. And on this one, Lauren, I want you to go ahead, open the club face, and I want you to go ahead and let the club pass your hands right about through impact. You're gonna, you're gonna, I hate to say it, but I hate to say scoop, but you're gonna go ahead and just let that club go on by. All right, want me to hit one for you before you do it? If you would like. All right. Lightning? I know, that's a pretty good shot, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs> All right, so we didn't quite get a chance to really explain the flop shot completely uh, the other day due to weather conditions. So we're back. We're going to talk about specifically how you want to hit this shot. So we're, we're, at our, uh, we're at the golf school now, and we've got a bunker that we're going to hit this shot over. This is a perfect opportunity for a flop shot. All right, so let's just go through this step by step. And here's the way, so, so the thing that people have trouble with is the opening of the club face. All right, so here's what we wanna do. We wanna make sure we have an open club face for this shot. We wanna make sure we align our body open to the target line. So for me, that would be left of the target line. And we wanna make sure that we can swing decisively through the ball. Those are the three things we have to do. And if you're fortunate enough that you've got a little bit of cushion under the ball, like there isn't a lot of rough here, this is actually a little harder shot. If you have a lot of rough, you can even let the club head pass your hands like we did over at the golf course, and then you can get a lot of height on that extra height. But if you don't have a fluffy lie, you really don't wanna to try to let the, the club head pass your hands because then you could blade it. Okay, all right, so here we go. I'm gonna open up this club face. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to lean the club backwards, okay? Then I'm going to open up my stance until I get in a position where the butt end of the club is pointing up in my belt buckle. So now I've got it wide open, all right? So my stance is open, my club face is open, and now I'm going to accelerate through the shot. Look at that. Oh! Nice shot, if I do say so myself. You want to try it, Lauren? Come on over. So you'll notice Lauren is in her workout attire today. So today she is Lauren Rosella, workout queen, fitness queen. Here we go. You're gonna have the club face wide open, right? Okay, let's just take a look at that stance now. So you can see the club face is pointed to the right over this way, and her feet are lined up a little bit more to the left, okay? All right. One take, Lauren. Look at that, oh my gosh. You, I think you, you got closer than me. I did. <laughs> Great shot. Thanks.